You know, the black light here with the flavor to save you and the kind of knowledge you most definitely won't get in college. Now, we're gonna hurry up and get, get into this. I am an FOI soldier in the Nation of Islam. My duty is to unite my people, black people, and to protect my women and children of my nation, and I will perform my duty faithfully regardless to whom or what. Now, that's the reason why I'm doing these videos. We are all over the planet. This goes out to the black man in Africa, the black man in Brazil, the black man in Europe, the black man in South America, Mexico, Alaska, the islands, Australia. This goes out to all of all y'all. We're calling ourselves what the white man told us we were. Now I could go into this in detail, but I'm going to have to make you realize I'm trying when I'm trying to unite you with is the teachings of Allah in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. He gave these teachings to the messenger of Allah, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave these teachings to us and he came, Allah came to Detroit, Michigan in the year 1930, but he'd been here in the wilderness of North America for 20 years studying the Caucasoid and his kind of education. When he finally came to uh, Detroit in 1930, it was July the 4th, the seventh month. Now, we in the year 2020 which is, when you add up 20 and 20, you got seven. When you add up the letters of Detroit, you got seven. When you add up the, ad the area code, you got 313, which is seven. We got a bunch of sevens, man. A bunch of sevens. And that letting us know that's letting me know, I don't know about y'all, that this is the seventh day, the day of judgment, that we are in the war of Armageddon. Now, to make a long story short, uh, the white man's time was up, because he had 6,000 years to rule us, and this was prophesied. And Abraham was, was uh, throwing prophecy at us, letting us know, the black man, that we will be uh, 400 years from slavery in a strange land. So the, the top scientists of the Caucasian know this. This is why they work night and day to keep you deaf, dumb, and blind all over the planet. Not just here. Africa just now waking up. You know, she got the resources that the devil needs to stay alive so he can keep on fooling us. He using television, radio, to give us fake news, like Trump was saying, see. Now one thing Trump is telling you right is about it's fake news and the system is corrupt. But he's not like Tom. John Brown, 
Who was he? Well, you know, John Brown gave his life. He, he fought against the Caucasus, his, his people, his own people. You know, to give us a land of our own and keep us out of slavery because he had enough vision to know that his people could only stay alive if Allah is sympathetic towards them. But now he done made Allah mad. That's why he had to come over here. Because he's killing us with the thug bug. Gradually, he's killing us and we can't feel it. You know what I'm saying? And going to keep on with that thug bug, using that thug bug to wipe us out or to make us in submission just as long enough for him to develop this artificial intelligence where we would have to submit to him. So names is important because in Revelations you'll see that that's the mark of the beast. Names and numbers. But he also says those that have our last name will prevail and are chosen. That's the 144,000. So how is he keeping us deaf, numb, and blind? Because we don't realize that we had an imperfection in us. That's why you got the dominant gene and the recessive gene. The recessive gene is imperfection, or the brown germ and the black germ. So Yaku's mission was to let the recessive gene rule us. Now resistance, every time you pick up some weights, you get stronger. Resistance makes you stronger. You know. So Yaku realized this. Maybe he didn't realize this. He was just programmed to bring out the imperfections in us through grafting of the Caucasians. Now there's a movie out called Dr. Jekyll and Hyde, which illustrates this, you know, perfectly with Spencer Tracy. Y'all check that movie out. And then another movie is The Matrix. Yeah, that's a that's a good movie too. Uh, to check out to show you how you can be programmed. To not resist. And that's what's happening now. And you call yourself African American. You call yourself Africans. Well, who gave you these names? Caucasian gave you these names. That's why I'm suggesting, you know, to use the word original. Because we are the original people. We were here long before the white man. The white man only been here 6,000 years. This is why he don't know how the pyramids was built. He don't have the architectural plan. You know for that. He only know in his, his history what's happening. That's why he don't teach you beyond his history. That's why he don't teach us in, in America beyond the history of America. You know, he don't want us to know who we were beyond the history of America. So, we're going to get on out of here. Coming back. Stay loose. Stay ready. Salam alaikum.